forgot how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Rangers hold Taylor Hager. Well, Adrian, obviously this is something you would hope to do as a player, but what does it feel like to be back with the Rangers and you know be here watching them in the World Series? It is nice always to be back here, uh, bring great memories and uh, be back in the situation where uh, hopefully uh, we're going to bring back or give the Ranger fans what deserve uh, for the World Series. So hopefully these guys uh, get it done. Questions for Adrian? With Jeff right here. So you're okay at third base. What do you think of Josh Young defensively at third? I think he's doing a, doing a terrific job. Um, third base is not easy to play, especially when it's your first year. Uh, and he's handling it really well. Uh, the game I've seen, uh, he's playing way better than I thought. Uh, he's looking good, and uh, it's, it's just been the beginning. So offensively, like you say, he had a great offensive year. Uh, so that kid's going to be really good. Sean? What is the, been your impression of watching Billy Garcia these playoffs last night, especially these last few games specifically? It's amazing to be able to uh, step up and continues to do what he's doing. Uh, I mean, in, in this situation, playoffs in the World Series and uh, be, being clutched the way he has been, 21, 22 RBIs in the postseason is obviously is a record now. And the way he's doing it is is just amazing. So uh, it's, it's it's good to see. Hopefully he can be going and you know uh, he, he he him and uh, you know and, and Corey and everybody else in that clubhouse take us to the promised land. Far back on your left, Adrian. Adrián, Eric Mora de Telemundo. Hola, Dallas. Hola, qué tal? Gusto saludarte otra vez. Muchos años estuviste en esta franquicia. Aquí viviste muchas glorias. ¿Qué significa para ti ver este equipo llegar a la Serie Mundial? ¿Y por qué crees que este equipo puede ganarla? Bueno, sí, significa mucho porque obviamente yo soy parte de esta organización. Hace ocho años uh, aquí me trataron muy bien. Ten, tuve tremenda química con, la, con los fanáticos, con la ciudad. Y uh, me identifico como fanático de los Rangers, obviamente. Um, el equipo que, que ahora mismo tenemos está compuesto para ganar en la ceremonia. Obviamente, al principio de temporada, muchos expertos no lo tenían como favorito, pero la ofensiva, el picheo, como se ha mantenido, tienen la química para ganar. Uh, yo, por experiencia, estuve aquí y estuvimos cerca de la serie mundial, obviamente. Pero um, ellos creo que tienen la, eh, lo que se necesita para hacer el trabajo y completarlo. Estamos todos aquí apoyándolo para que eso sea y le traigan una, un campeonato que Obviamente ya los, los fanáticos de los Rangers se uh, um, lo merecen. Thank you. Adrián, eh, en relación a la actuación que ha tenido a Doris García, lo que, lo que ha significado para, para el equipo en, para que llegara hasta aquí, hasta la Serie Mundial. Obviamente es, es una de las claves principales por qué los Rangers están aquí. Con el aporte de él, de Seager y, y el resto de los muchachos, han estado prácticamente este, um, aportando el equipo ofensivamente. Uh, lo que ha hecho uh, García, eh, nadie más lo ha hecho. 21 a 22 uh, remolcadas en la postemporada es algo que nunca se ha hecho anteriormente. O sea que eso solamente habla de lo que está haciendo. Uh, y como decía anteriormente, es difícil mantener esa. esa, esa, esa este, producción, como la ha hecho él, mantenerla casi todos los juegos. Y sabiendo de que también el equipo Pontero sabe lo que está haciendo él, y quizás le picha un poquito con más cuidado, igualmente produce. O sea que lo que está haciendo él es algo que es admirable, y yo como fanático lo disfruto, y esperamos que lo siga haciendo para que le pueda traer el campeonato a los Rangers. Got two quick ones. And speaking of kids, AJ, are you kind of letting your baseball fix through him and just talk about his development? How much fun has it been to watch him grow? It's been fun. It's been fun. Obviously, um, you know, it's, it's something I was looking for when I uh, decided to retire because I want to be able to, I want to be able to be able to uh, see him on a daily basis, uh, work on things that we need to work in, um, 
see and develop and see where I can work with thing uh, in baseball. Uh, and seeing the way he developed, you know, I'm really proud of him. Uh, he has done what more than I expected. He put himself in a great position to be able to uh, pick a good school for him, to suit, to suit him. Um, he wanted always good academics and good uh, baseball program. He, he found what he wanted. Uh, I need to support him, but the other way, um, he has done it by himself. I uh, helped a little bit, but he has done it by himself because he's a young, not because of my son, and I'm the first one to be <laughs> telling him, you know, if you do something wrong, but he's a young man that is dedicated and he knows what he wants. And I've got to ask, I know you always played the game for teammates, and I know you always played not for the accolades or the awards, but obviously you're eligible for the Hall of Fame ballot this year. Put any thought into it, I and mean, does that excite you or do anything for you? Um, uh, I'm not going to deny the fact that yes, next January, right? Uh, I'm eligible to to be in the ballot, but uh, I don't I don't like to think about it. I, I I do sometimes because the question you guys ask me and the family and because it's it's normal, but it's something that I cannot control. So um, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be happy, uh, but, but I don't I don't like to get ahead of things that I can't control. So if it happens, when it happens, I. I see how I react and see how I'm going to uh, enjoy it. Cody, fourth row, your left. Adrian, what would it mean to see the Rangers win the World Series, especially given how close you guys came in 2011? It mean a lot. It mean a lot because, you know, being in that team in 2011, we were so close um, and not get it done. You know, it, it stays with you. Uh, understanding that the, one of the reasons why you came to, to the Rangers because they believe that I could help and the guys that come in that year, we can help to bring the, you know, the World Series to, to, this, uh, to this town, to the city. And we weren't able to. Uh, pretty close, but we didn't, didn't, didn't get it done. So I think uh, uh, if we win three more games, uh, now now I'm only going to be thrilled for the fans here in Texas, but I'm going to feel like it's a little weight off of us because we didn't get it done, and those guys did it for us. So um, I'll, I'll be super happy about it. Right, Bill. Uh, just want to ask how your friends and neighbors back home are doing watching this series where Corey Seager is playing for the Rangers and the team that the Dodgers beat by 16 games is on the other side of the field. Are they holding up all right or are they upset? Uh, you want me to tell you the truth? Yeah. <laughs> I can't, but you know what? I was, um, I was on the fun, I was on the uh, golf tournament last week and I don't want to mention who was, was there, the Dodger guy. And uh, it was like, hey, where are you going for the the World Series, you know, we wanted to go be high before the World Series, right? When Texas was playing against uh, Houston and, and, and Philly against uh, Arizona, so I told him, "What is it, Houston? You know, what I want, I don't want Houston to win. I want the Rangers to win." He goes, "What about you?" He goes, "Ah, oh, I don't like maybe the Rangers, but you know, I, 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 I don't know. The Corey's over there. He laughed. You know, <laughs> and he was like, and and uh, Arizona just make lose like crap, you know." So, long story short, I don't want to make it into details, but they're not happy that you know, we are doing good and Corey's here. <laughs> Crushing. That's a guy who plays for the team now or used to play for the team? I'm sorry? That's a guy who plays for the Dodgers now or used to play for the Too team? Too much information. Go further back on your lines. Una pregunta más, Adrián. Muy parecida a la que hizo ya el colega. ¿Qué significaría para ti precisamente que ganaran los, los Rangers? ¿Y cómo estás viviendo tú estos partidos ya pues como espectador? ¿Cómo los vives? ¿Cómo los saboreas? ¿Qué sientes? ¿Te pones nervioso? ¿No te pones nervioso? ¿Y qué significaría ver a ellos levantar el título? Como dije anteriormente, significaría algo muy importante para mí. Porque aparte de que soy fanático de los Rangers, jugué aquí ocho años y... Estuvimos el equipo de 2011, estuvimos en la, en la misma situación, la, que estábamos en el Mundial cerca de ganar y no pudimos hacerlo. Entonces, si logramos este triunfo de ganarse el Mundial, para mí, no solamente para que los fanáticos de los Rangers ya finalmente puedan celebrar una serie mundial aquí en la ciudad, sino también este, quitarme ese peso que tengo yo y mis ex compañeros, vamos ese año, de que no pudimos hacer el trabajo ese año. O sea, que de, de, de doble manera nos sentimos orgullosos de que traigan una, un championship aquí a los Rangers. 
Y de, como fanático, como espectador, obviamente yo soy nuevamente un poquito tranquilo viendo los juegos y, y calculado, pero me di cuenta que ayer brinqué mucho. <risa> uh, estuve con mi hijo viendo el juego um, y de verdad que lo disfruté. Y obviamente me encantan los juegos, especialmente con un juego que es emocional, un juego que se mantuvo siempre cerca. De la manera que triunfamos ayer fue muy bueno, o se lo disfruté y esperamos Dios que tres más así para poder celebrar completamente. Lo que significa para ti este primer picheo con Ferguson Jenkins, ayer lo hizo el, el presidente Bush con una leyenda como Iván Rodríguez y bueno, el, al día siguiente te toca a ti con un hombre que está en el Salón de la Fama que sería tu próxima parada. Um, obviamente emocionado por la oportunidad de poder uh, hacer el primer lanzamiento aquí en el, en el juego número 2. Uh, primera vez en mi carrera porque tiene muy picheo, obviamente, un poquito nervioso acerca de eso. Este, obviamente, hacerlo el lanzamiento a, a, a un salón de la fama como Jenkins, esa buena persona, uh, obviamente es algo muy emocionante. Uh, pero me que todo salga bien y que, que, no la, que algo no salga mal allá. <risa> Could you say that in English? You said it's the first time that you've had an opportunity to do first the first time. pitch. Yes, and it's the first time. You watched President Bush last night. Did you get a chance to practice? <laughs> uh, not yet. Um, yes, the first time ever I threw a first pitch. Uh, honored to be here doing that. Uh, I witnessed yesterday first pitch, and I was actually sitting with him. Um, um, I'm a little nervous about it, not gonna lie. But I haven't practiced yet, and I was not nervous until yesterday. My son told me. So I was fine until yesterday. He actually said, yeah, you didn't play catch in like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. <laughs> so, but um, I'm hoping that'll be okay. I might, I might warm up a little before if you had a chance, you know. But we'll still see how it goes. It should be okay. One last one for Adrian. All right, Adrian, it's a real thrill to have you through the series.